off on Gallatin Street toward West Franklin Street. Turn right on Week West five. Franklin Street. Monday Night Football. Browns versus the 49ers. In the quarter mile, turn left on Fairview Avenue. Big winner and loser of this game. All that coming up next. Stay tuned. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Home to Work Vibes. I am your hostess with the mostest. Shelton Ponder the second or Shelton Ponder, however you see fit. I hope everybody had a great night of sleep last night. I did. Seeing as I got in kind of late. Listening position is decent. It's kind of hard getting used to. But I'll be used to it pretty soon. Anyway. Once again, hope everybody had a great night of sleep last night. I know I did. We had a football game last night, ladies and gents. Yes, we did. We had the two and two Browns. Heading into San Francisco playing against the 3 and 0 49ers. And might I say, the 49ers did their thing. Yes, last night. The 49ers absolutely whooped the Browns 31 to 3. 31-2-3. Jimmy Garoppolo, or Jimmy G as they call him, went 20 of 29, 181 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. What was, in, what was crazy was the fact that the, the defenders of the Browns couldn't stop a guy by the name of Matt Breida. Jimmy G gave Matt Breida the ball and all the defenders tried to stop him. All of the defenders tried so hard to stop him, but they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. This guy rushed, had an 83-yard touchdown. 83-yard touchdown. That is incredible. Baker Mayfield, on the other hand, use the left two lanes to turn left the I-35 South. Went eight of twenty-two, one hundred yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Now, the Browns In are no now two and three. South. There are now two undefeated teams still still in there. They are the Patriots and the 49ers. Now the now the 49ers 
have not had an 0-4 record since I believe it was 1998 maybe I'm not sure but the 49ers have not had a record like this now the Bills are still in it the Packers are still in it they're, four, they're both 4-1. and one. The Chiefs, they are still 4-1 and one in their divisions. In a half mile, keep left to continue on I-35 South. But they're all four, all five teams. Oh, well, let's see. The Chiefs, the Packers, and the Bills. And who would have thought that the Bills would be that good? I mean, whoa. Continue on I-35 South for 11 miles. The Bills, wow. Whew. I, you know what? I honestly, at the beginning of the season, I did not think that the Bills would be this good. The Bills are good. And the reason why is because they have Josh Allen. That guy Josh Allen, man, he what a what a specimen he is. I mean, you've never seen a Bills quarterback that is as dialed in as he is. And when I say dialed in, people, I mean dialed in, like push a button and he's he's just focused. He's focused. But the 49ers are still on a winning streak. The Patriots are still number one at 5 0. The Patriots are four. Uh, the 49ers are now four and zero. The Packers, the Chiefs, and the Bills are four and one. That's cool. I like that. I really do. I mean, and Jimmy Garoppolo, I mean, to to get hurt against the Chiefs and then come back to have season-ending surgery and then to come back and lead your team to four straight wins going into week six, That is, that, that's miraculous. That is miraculous. I honestly, and Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo is in my fantasy team, is on my fantasy team. And Jimmy Garoppolo has been helping me. He has been helping me. But, What's going on with the Browns, though? I think they played last Monday night on Monday Night Football. I'm not sure exactly when they played. Someone correct me on that. But, I mean, you started off the season 2-0. and And now you've dropped three straight games. I mean, it that that's something to be cautious of. That's something to be cautious of. You know, Baker Mayfield, he... I've, uh, Baker Mayfield, I think, just does too much. I think he hypes himself up too much. And... Honestly, I think he should be like a... 
like a Patrick Mahomes or um, a Russell Wilson or someone, uh, uh, a good quarterback that doesn't, that isn't so full of himself because that's what Johnny Manziel was. Johnny Manziel was full of himself and now you see where he is, nowhere to be found. But I think that Baker Mayfield needs to slow it down a little bit. The one thing that, that you really want to do as a quarterback or any type of position player in the NFL, I don't, in, in any type of league, whether it's NFL, college, Pee Wee, elementary, or high school, is that in order to be good, you have to listen. You have to listen. And if you don't listen, then you're going to lose the team. If you don't listen, then it's going to be a lot of confusion and frustration and and just to- total uncontrolling. The, the, the locker room is not going to be controlled. Yes, it's one thing to be about yourself and talk about your game, but you gotta you have to be cognizant of the fact that you know not not everybody wants to see you succeed in the league. Everybody wants to see you fail. Everybody wants to see you fail and you cannot do that. You have to put all the naysayers to bed like all the naysayers when I see when I say naysayers I mean all of the all of the people that doubt you and all the people that say you're a failure and all this you have to you have to tune them out and play your game the way not only you want to play it but also your coaches want you to play it I mean that right there is that right there is prior that that right there should be the first thing that you focus on is what is is tying a little bit of what you want with a little bit of what your coaches want you to do. And with that you'll be squared away, but to be so full of yourself and to be so to be to basically to be so full of yourself and to be just an arrogant a-hole is not the way to go. It's not. It's not. Being arrogant, being a jerk, is not going to win you any fan points. But everybody's ego is not the same as mine. I don't hype myself up every chance I get. That's just me, though. That's just me. All in all, congratulations to the 49ers on the 4 0, on going 4 0. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, you're making me look good. Thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get off of here, YouTube. I got to get ready for work, got to get ready to prepare my mind for work. Once again, if you are new or just returning, do like, comment, and share this video out. Also, subscribe to this video. Shelton Ponder the second, or Shelton Ponder, whichever one you see fit. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TonyGumbo21. Remember, live your life the way that you want to live it, not the way someone else wants you to. I'm Sheldon Ponder and I'll check I'll see you all later. Take care.